What is going on, you guys? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vira, it is Scorpio Reds Tarot, and I'm in the building. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? What is popping, puddings? I'm in here. We want to find out what the tea is. It is tea time. Y'all see, I got all my tea leaf cards out here. I got a brand new tea deck, too, baby. I love it already. I love it already. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting. Everybody has been booking readings. If you guys want to book a personal and private reading with me, go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram. The link is in the description and in the about page on my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, so yeah, we want to get into this. We got all of these different groups here. We got pile number one right here with this beautiful, beautiful. What is this? Like. Uh, what is what is this? Amber. This beautiful amber crystal. Alright. We got group number two here. Alright. With this beautiful crystal. I ain't even going to tell you what it is. Because we're going to get into it when you pick it. We're going to get into it when you pick it. Because I feel like if I tell you the name of it. Instead of you just going off of this beautiful energy right here. Of what you're getting. Like everything falling all out. Look, look, this power right here, you just want to get the start. So let me put you down. Because, look, you just, everything just about to spill on out. Ooh. What's he about to spill? Okay, come on now, number two. All right, now this group number three. It's group number three. So you guys can, you know, get a little closer look. I know y'all done seen it on a thumbnail. Group one, two, and three. But, Lord, okay, I don't know how you doing. You a little mystical little thing. You look, you a little sneaky little so Ooh. Okay, y'all. Jesus, hold on. Let me read. Hold on. Okay, I am reloaded. I, okay. <laughs> Let's get I'm excited. I am excited because I feel like it's gonna be some real TGG out here. <laughs> It's about to be funny as hell. Y'all, let's say a quick prayer real quick. And yes, God knows that I cuss and I pray. So if y'all do, y'all don't know that. And yes, my nails is all because I, I, I do my own nails, y'all. And I was being lazy. I ain't finish it. But, you know, God bless me. God bless me. God bless me with the energy. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Come on, y'all. Praise Jesus. Come on now. All right. Let's give Jesus the glory because they don't know our story. Y'all bow your heads and lift your hands and pray with me real quick. Father God, keep us covered. And thank you so much for anointing us with this blessed and beautiful day and positive energy, Jesus. Thank you for all the collective for bringing in beautiful selves over here, Father God, because you know we like to have a good old time over here and get to the business. Okay, Father God, so just keep us covered because we diving in. We getting into the business. We getting into a nice, warm, hot stuff. Steamy strong. Uh, you know, we, we like a strong. We we Starbucks drinkers. We like a strong, okay? You know, we like a little folder sometimes, but we're going to do a little Starbucks. We got a little bit of money to spend. We just got our income tax. We, we want a strong, Father God. Give us all the tea today in Jesus' name. Father, tell us what we need to know. All right. Thank you so much for keeping us blessed and not stressed in all 2023. Because 2023, say it with me. It's about me, 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 me. Okay. Forget about you, 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 you. 2023 is all about us, Father God. So thank you so much for keeping us blessed, covered, and anointed in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm so sorry for that prayer. I just got a little bit excited, y'all. Excuse me. Okay. Let's get into this. Come on. All right. Group number one. Let's see what's popping. My Amber group. Let's see what's going on, Miss Amber. Miss Amber. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm seeing thick thighs and red hair. Come on, Miss Amber. Who got the thick thighs and red? Oh, Jesus. Louise. You got Amber. It says warmth, regeneration, and grounding. Oh, you grounded. Oh. <laughs> Come on, spiritual children. Come on, anointed babies. Come on. It says... Exuding warmth and electrical charge, Amber was believed by the Chinese to encapsulate the soul of the tiger when it dies. With rich history, Amber was used as a protective talisman dating back to the ancient times, technically comprised of tree resin that has been fossilized. Amber is used for grounding higher energies back to earth. When rubbed, it can become electrically charged, dispelling negativity and igniting desire. Ooh, I told, I told y'all with that red hair and thick thighs. I told, uh, uh, Miss Amber, Big Amber, if you nasty, y'all better cut it out over here. Okay, it said Amber is used as a purifier. Come on now, pure as water. <laughs> 
Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me stop. Y'all got me excited. It said, Amber is used as a purifier, cleansing the environment and chakras alike. Use Amber to electrify your life. This is the sign of Leo, Aquarius, and the sun. Look, I look. Come on now. Miss Amber, Big Amber, if you nasty. Look, come on, Amber group. <laughs> Y'all starting off. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what the tea. What we got? Oh, you got the boot. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what I do. Because, goddamn, these boots is going to walk all over you. Who is you crip walking across? Who, who for hey, is you crip walking across? Amber? Amber, who is you? Ooh, it said increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Okay? These boots are made for walking. Miss Amber, what is you getting into, girlfriend? I got to watch you, girl. Four leaf clover. Great. Good fortune. And you be smoking some green, too. I, I smell you, girl. I smell you. You got the feather. It said someone you know is undependable and, ins and insincere. You know, if you use feathers for protection, Big Amber. And that's coming out right here by the boot, too. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. And someone you know is undependable and insincere. And you've got luck coming around you. <laughs> Talking about an ancient talesman. And ancient talesmen electrifying and igniting shit. Miss, okay, let's see what we got going on. Because God got you protected and respected around here. Let's see what we got going on. You got the cat. And I started off singing the boots is made for walking. You got the damn casket. Something is ending and something brand new is beginning. Come on right under this four leaf clover. Y'all better stop playing with Big Amber. Stop playing with Big Amber. And you got wealth, Big Amber. You bet can you cannot get five dollars, Big Amber. Big Amber, can I get five dollars? Hit the cash app, Big Amber. Come on, Big Amber. I need a little titty money. I need a fitty in the titty. I need a fitty in the titty. Look, that's what you tell these niggas nowadays, okay? We need some titty money. I need some fitty in the titties. Both on. Okay, both on. Stop playing. Big Amber. Wealth for your health? Come on, girl. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop playing with Big Amber. You got the seahorse. You got family matters. Mm. Come on, Big Amber. What we got going on with the family? You got the fair woman. Why am I seeing light skin with freckles and curly red hair and thick thighs? That's what I'm seeing. She might throw on a little blonde or something like that. Y'all might have some blonde hair. Or I feel like whatever is going on in your family... Might have to do with something with someone. I'm not even getting. I'm not getting um so much of the blonde hair. I'm getting like light skin with freckles. Light skin, freckles, red hair, thick thighs. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Dinners or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray hair, or with white hair. And add red hair in there too. Add light skin. Hmm. Let's see what else we got going on. What else the tea we got? You got the pearl, a hidden gem. I hope y'all can see this because these cards is a little dark. And I need to get me a new ring light. Y'all. I feel like some information is being like reserved about some wealth coming to you. Because you got the great fortune, the wealth card, the casket. Something is ending and something new is beginning. I want I why, why I want to say that you guys have been taking care of somebody. Um and again the casket does not necessarily say that someone is passing away. Okay. But someone could be getting an inheritance. But I don't necessarily want y'all to take it that way because I don't like I don't like talking about shit like that. Then you got the ocean, distance and a journey. So yeah, something that's going like bring you some type of emotional stability, like a long time, like a long term emotional stability, like real tranquil 
elements in regards to you being like emotionally secure and financially secure like in this group i feel like maybe your finances is the most important thing to you right now you may be like increasing your effort in in regards to like um you rebranding yourself like what you known for and, and it could be in a job in a work sector for real for real like you definitely putting your best foot forward and uh, like you are visibly showing up in places where very high level people have your name on their lips already. So it's like you're walking indoors and people were just talking about you. So it's like they just spoke you up like someone could have just spoke up like how good you were working out on this new team and they're glad that you, you know, you show up every day to work on time with, a, you know, like you be bringing coffee for everybody. Like you always smiling like you just bring like a breath of fresh air to whatever team or group. It could even be like a personal relationship or something like that. And again, I feel like someone um, has been putting a lot of positive effort and there's been a lot of growth, a lot of growth. So with this group and then saying somebody that you know is independable is undependable and insincere god is protecting you from this person it has something to do with your family so if this it this has something to do with you guys taking care of someone it may be time for you to kind of back away from always having to feel like you're financially responsible for whoever this is. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if maybe. Why well, I'm feeling like someone need to be put in a home or something. It, I feel like it's the end of like. You feeling solely responsible for trying to be the caretaker. Uh, first off I feel like someone is too young to be trying to take on something like that. I feel like other family members should be helping you. And all of your money and resources shouldn't be going into like the aid and care of this person. And whatever like financial monies is coming to you, like keep that shit to yourself. If you want to keep like if you want it to last. And again, this is a lot of people don't think about the long term goal they think about the immediate <laughs> success no think about the long-term goal the long-term win don't think about just right now like this right here is about to bring you long-term emotional self emotional success wealth and balance and definitely some coins is coming into you so I just want you to make sure that you're being balanced and making sure that the scales are being balanced, that everyone is pulling their weight. Don't let everybody put everything on you, especially you young, baby. I feel like if you allow certain financial tasks that should not be yours all on your plate, like you would sink. And a lot of good fortune and wealth is coming into you. People that take advantage of that shit. Put your boundaries out now. So these are your last cards. Let's see what we got here. You got the nine. Is this the nine of pinnacle, bitch? I, I fucking just told y'all somebody is supposed to be financially wealthy like on their own. Girl, you got the nine of fucking pinnacles. So that is like financial security. That Like whoever this is, you're going to have a very nice house, very nice car. Whatever the fuck it is that you do or... That you make money in, people can see it. They can tell by the way that you dress, by the way that you carry yourself, by the way that you talk, like you act. And, you know, your diction, your communication is, is of someone who has very, very high intelligence that went to school. And shit, I feel like someone might have just got... A certain level of career base where they're finally able to save money and pay off, like really be able to pay off their student loans like you like in in nine more months if you keep being able to make the payments the way that you've been making it because of this new salary increase that you got you're gonna be able to pay all of that stuff and just like and then once you pay all of that off that's no longer a bill that you have to pay so that five six hundred dollars a month that you were paying to pay off them student loans you about to be putting that in the safe look y'all about y'all money about to be sick 
and again you see all those turtles like something it took a long time for you to actually finally reach this level of financial security on your own you're finally comfortable you don't have to ask nobody for no help if anything you can help other people but you, i just with this group i feel like you are keeping it to yourself you were just very well rounded you were ex expressing yourself in a way where people can see your growth and they can see your happiness and a lot of people may want to come and celebrate with you but I don't know. I'm getting like someone that's a loner. Like, <laughs> you saw this girl. She's sitting there with her damn animals and shit like that. You know, she doing her little painting, little drawing, or looking at her little tapestry or whatever. Like, y'all are just focusing on the future, how to make everything that's coming into you continue to grow. And again, y'all are keeping this financial success and this growth whatever this um raises y'all are keeping this shit hitting y'all keeping your money hitting and how much money you really have and how secure you are you're keeping it hidden from other people bitch you got the ten y'all gonna stop playing <laughs> No, 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 no. Then you got the Ten of Pentacles, and then you got the Nine of... Why do I feel like this is success remorse? Because I just heard it's like you, it's like you're going to have to leave certain people behind because it's like I can't take care of you no more. I can't worry about taking care of other people no more. I don't know if you guys are about to start a family. You see these people right here with this... this baby and no it's just like god about to gift you a ch look this y'all see this girl have a childbirth <laughs> so wow bro whoa it's like it's going to change your life seeing this baby being brought into this earth is truly like that ten of pentacles moment it's like you realizing how beautiful your body is and how precious your time is and how much you really want to do the right things for the people around you like you might just be spending a lot of time with your mother. You see that this lady is right there helping this girl. Being like, you are just only focused on family right now. And this could be why y'all saving and stacking y'all money and keep it to yourself like that. And not taking care of other people like that no more. Because I can't deal with the stress of that. I, like, I, I just, I can't. You know. And it may not necessarily even be. You know, the birth of another individual, like another human being. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're birthing another human being, but there's like a completion of a stage in your life where you had to put a lot of fucking work in. There was a lot of nights where you didn't know where your money was coming from, possibly where you, what food you were going to eat. You didn't know if certain people loved you or not. Or if they were just using you for what the fuck they could get from you. And it's this level of just, I want to say self-assistance. It's like you spent a lot of fucking time with your damn self. Building yourself. And now you got survivor's remorse or success remorse. Because it's like you made it out. It's like, it, and I just heard it's like I found new individuals. Like, this person is like, because this person really did do the work and, and spent time with their self and focused on their own well-being. You are getting that ten of pentacles. A child, your little spirit baby is, is already being thought of in, in, in mind for you. Like, if you don't have any children yet or if you don't know that you're about to be a mother again like I'm letting you know I'm letting you know this now and it's like you're going to have successes remorse because you can't take care of these people anymore and whoever this was that you were taking care of like they're undependable and insincere it's like they could do the shit on their own like and, and, and they would be better if you was to kind of take a hands-off approach let them 
deal with their own fucking life. You know what I'm saying? People can't be coming to you no more. It's like you're not like a single woman anymore with a, a whole bunch of money with nothing to do with it because you ain't got no responsibilities. It's like you got a whole different purpose of life. Even if, like I said, even if the family did not come to play yet, it's just the fact that that's what you want and that's what God is about to give you. So everything around your life is changing to prepare you for such. You know what I'm saying? So group one, Amber group, in it, like I told you, a long distance of emotional security and financial security. So whoever this person is that you're going to build this family with, I just know your home is going to be full of love and full of luxury. When people walk into your house, it smells like potpourri, like the food. It tastes like a chef made it. <laughs> like the whole house is spotless. It looks like you got a maid. Like you, you like y'all don't even, you don't even drive. Like you have a freaking car service. Like if you don't want to drive, like you could, like you got it. When I say baby, you got it, you got it. So blessings to you and everything and everyone around you group number one because listen can i be like you when i grow up i love this this is beautiful so listen sha -la -la. <laughs> sha -la -la. praise jesus for that y'all i love that energy for that group come on now group number one all right i love that i am loving it i loved it i really really did love that energy y'all so let's get it to group number two group number two what it do boo let's see so if you picked this group right here let's see what your crystal is your crystal is the rose aura quartz this means your heart's desires love in the divine it says the energy of love vibrates on a soul level penetrating the body through its many layers of tissue all the way down to the cells rose or quartz is a crystal of love with the ability to shift one's senses of self providing nourishment for your growth and transform fear and doubts into unconditional love creating a strong bond to the universe it creates a synergy between the penal glands located in the brain and associated with our third eye and the heart chakra infusing your intuition with space to give and receive more love. This crystal represents all of the signs of the zodiac, the sun and the moon. All right, so Rose Aura Quartz Group number two, what it do? Let's see what the TAE -ye is with y'all. Okay, uh um, reload it. Let's get into the T cards. Oh, we're coming out with the older man. Okay, Big Daddy with the caddy. Hello, how you doing? We got the valley, deep personal and peace. Wait, Lord Jesus, I can't read. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. The valley. All right. You got dog barking, advice from a friend. Hmm. Oh, I just heard, listen up. Okay. Older man. Look. <laughs> Right, I was right as I was about to put this dog out with the older man. I heard, listen up. Whoever this is, they got a, a loud ass dog that always be barking in the yard. You got the dagger, fears, worries, tense situation. Hmm. You got the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Hmm. Fucking like jackrabbits, are we? And then you got the wishbone. A wish granted. What's going on here with you guys? I, why do I feel like with this group, someone is dating an older man that can't deal with like your sexual libido? And... <laughs> 
I'm not feeling like this old man is like, listen up, it don't always have to be about sex. Like, you got my dog barking, we in here screaming, making all this noise. I'm in my apartment and shit, it's one o'clock in the morning, you waking me up, grabbing my dick, stroking me, fucking with me and shit like that. Look, after 11 o'clock, I'm ready to go to bed, I don't be up, fucking one o'clock in the morning, you up, listening to music and shit, smoking weed, doing shit like... <laughs> Why do I feel like, I feel like some, whoever in this group right here is like happy. I feel like they finally are dating and like meeting like older people that are kind of like, no, I just heard that this person is dating outside, like really outside of their right age range, like really outside of their age range. And I just, <laughs> I just heard like someone is just like horny as fuck and just want to stay up all night and just be fucking like jackrabbits and drink. Like that's just what I heard. And it's, I feel like it's maybe too much wear and tear on this person's body. But I feel like this is a very attractive older man. And he's probably very good in bed and all of that shit like that. But it's just like, I want to say there's more to the situation than just sex. So... Try to bring more personality to the table instead of... Because even in conversation, I feel like it can somehow lead to towards sex. And it's like, hey, 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 like, God, like it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Like, you, do we really got to be like, come on now, kids. Just say good morning. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, fears, worries, a tense situation. I feel like someone is finally got their wish and this older man could have like really wanted like I want to say like a hot girl someone is very young and attractive fruitful you know agile got beautiful birthing hips you know what I'm saying succulent juicy and tender in all the right places you know what I'm saying and this person really really got it you know now they're in the right valley if you understand what I'm saying if you understand what I'm saying okay and the shit was starting off real good. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. All thing you need is a little communication. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. You got the bear. Strength and resourceful. So the female in this situation definitely loves the fact that this is an older man. He is very mature extremely mature it's making this woman have to grow up and think a little more and if you if you are the female in this situation if you're a younger woman dating an older man again it's not about sex with this person this person likes to watch the news and talk about like what's going on in the finance world like this person want to go out and play pool or go sharpshooting and like, you know, like this. Why well, I feel like this person likes going hunting and shit like that. Like, why I feel like this person is like an outdoorsman. But he be getting real dapper. He like to hang out with his college buddies. I feel like this person is like a, a um, God, what's the, what's the uh, fraternity's names? A kappa, like like a like a kappa or something like that, cause I want I was about to say a Q dog, but nah, I feel like this person is like a kappa or something like that, and they have like cigar day, like a cigar night or something where everyone goes to like a cigar bar and things, and they everybody be dressed up real cool and stuff. They go drink bourbon and smoke cigars and just like, and I. I Ooh, I feel like this person may be like a um a mason too. Look at the person's rings to see if they got one of the mason rings. Like I wanna say that this person may be like in a secret society group or like a club or something like that. This person has a very active social life. And certain things in their social life that they don't talk about a lot because it's like I feel like they can't. This person's like a big, a big boss, like a big dog or something like that. 
Like even at in this person's work, like this person's like a high ranking like division manager or something. It's like a heavyweight. I don't know why I'm feeling like a heavyweight. What am I getting here? And then you got the bride card. <gasps> These cards, and I told y'all, this is my new deck, y'all. This is my new deck. So, shout out to everybody that just be sending me love in the Amazon wish list, y'all. I appreciate everybody that books readings because it gives me time and money to be able to pour back into my page. And I freaking love this deck. I, this deck has been given so much amazing beautiful energy and I just love 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 this deck so thank you guys so much for all of the support but you got the bear and the bride you got the wife and engagement so this person is like a very protective energy like almost like a big papa like He's giving me daddy energy. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely giving me daddy energy. <laughs> like, for real. Well, I want to say this person is like maybe six or seven years older than you, though. Feel like he got a little salt and pepper hair on the chin. Like, yeah. A little salt and pepper hair on the chin. I just love the way this man dress and smell. Because I just see this person. Ooh. So this person wants to make sure that their interactions with you is purposeful. They don't want it to be merely about sex. This person really wants to build something with you because they've kind of had their stages when they were wild, crazy, young, dumb, and full of cum. This is an older man. This one wants someone that they can grow and build something with and settle down and have someone that they could call their wife so this person is really looking for someone that they can have a higher level of engagement with so if you're dating someone that's older than you and they are saying it only thing you give a fuck look barking at you about too much sex only thing you give a fuck about is sex Listen to what I'm saying. Like, this person is not looking for that. This person is looking for a higher level of commitment. Okay, so... And this is a wish that... <laughs> something that you've been praying for that God has given to you. So, like... And with this rose or quartz... The heart's desire, love the divine. Is this not God telling you that he... Like, is literally casting upon you what you've been praying for so listen listen to me tonita listen to your man baby you got the three of pentacles so yes this is a new situation you guys could have only been dealing with each other for like i want to say well i'm here in three years i want to say like i want oh i just heard newly engaged oh like you guys will be newly engaged after three years I want to say like this person knew that they loved you after three months. You guys could be only three months in now if it's something new. Because I want to say like this is something that is still being built up off of the ground. So it's like once you get to that three year mark. Y'all kind of like have built enough with each other where this person knows that. You're the one that I, I could really see myself building this whole foundation with. I could see myself waking up to you every day. Like, you listen. You're attentive to me. You you don't have any problem with learning. I learn a lot from you. Because I want to say there's a big age difference. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like you both are like you balance each other. And you pick up a lot from each other. And you guys don't mind putting the work in like this is someone that again wants to see that you are listening and that you're willing to put forth the effort and the time and that you have the ability to really grow with them because this is about the end game this is about someone that they want to marry. And you got the sun right here. <laughs> wow. So, like, you bring a lot. Yeah, again, you are younger than this person. You bring an extreme amount of happiness to. Ooh, and I just. Ooh. I just 
this or did you make this person really happy on the inside and you definitely when it's like when you come around like you make this person like extremely hard and i'm not this is not an 18 plus video but you make this person so fucking aroused like this person loves the I heard this person loves the way you smell. They love the way that you wear your hair. Like you always changing your style. Like your style is so unique and is different. It's so hip. Like you make this person feel young. Like you always want to go outside and do something or want to travel or have some new idea about some shit. It's like you make this person feel young again. And you're so beautiful. And you're so bright. I feel like you have such beautiful eyes. It's like, I want to say like a chestnut brown eyes. Like almost like a... You have brown eyes, but it's like when the sun hit it, it just gives this beautiful, warm, like a, a, a chocolate milk, warm, brown, like, glow to it and this person just loves it loves it and you always are smiling you always smiling and it's like you tell jokes a lot you're extremely funny this person ex experiences a lot of happiness and joy around you and again don't worry about the age difference because i feel like the people that are worrying about the age difference is the people that don't fucking matter it's like <laughs> it's like what do these people fucking matter like this shit don't mean anything it's like you are everything like to this person you are everything and i really feel like this person found their happiness in you like truly and um i think that you guys are really going to enjoy the experiences that you have with each other like on a very high level extremely beautiful and i definitely feel like this person is going to be gifting you a lot with like beautiful bracelets jewelry little purses like anything that accentuates your beauty this person wants you to have it it's like you're this person's like little fucking baby doll like this person will literally go to the mall to go shopping for some outfits that they want to see you in because they like it when you look cute a lot you know what i'm saying it's like if you go and change your hair in a different style or whatever like this person be like oh she would look good in this you know and we'll go and look and be just because you went and changed your hair like they see you wearing these colors or whatever with it and it will go and buy that shit for you like no bullshit like come on now what is this you got the ten of wands so like the ten of wands shows like a lot of patience and a lot of endurance this shows like developing yourself you you done been through so many different stages and you have like i want to say like the cycles are changing like you really have a level of endurance where it's like you know how to play the part you know how to like put the extra work in and not give up it's like what people would have given up a long time ago it's like you show that you have fighting power you have some level of determination that shows this person, especially if the, whoever this is. Because I want to say, like, you talk to each other about y'all's history, about the way y'all grew up, and uh, a lot of things that y'all sacrificed, and um, how you got to where you are. And Because you're a very smart person. It's like when you get past like the outer shell like the beauty yeah yeah you're beautiful and you're striking and all of that stuff like that but it's like when you really sit down and talk to you you got so many amazing fucking stories it's like man you don't been through that yeah i went through that when i was living over here and this this and that and then shit <laughs> my mother and them got locked up and then i had to be you know I went through the system and this, this, and that. Then I came out. I started my own business. I started doing lashes. And I, look, I was walking around selling my lashes and started, you know, promoting on Instagram. And then that shit took off. And, you know, that's when I started my, you know, like, it's like you got so many different amazing stories about how you became so successful at such a young age why you think the way that you do and it all makes sense on how you could attract someone to this level you're smart and you're determined 
to get what the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You not going to give up. Ain't nobody going to tell you shit. Can't nobody tell you nothing that you can't have. You were built for it tough. And a lot of blessings are going to... Baby, let me tell you something. You done made it. Because the Ten of Wands, depending on what's going on around it, baby. Because most definitely be telling you, you ain't got to fight no more, baby. You done made it to the promised land. All of that shit that you done went through, baby, it wasn't for naught. You done arrived. Okay? After this ace, after the Ten of Wands, you start into the Ace of Wands. Alright? So this is finished. This is complete. You have reached your destination. The fight is over. You got a protector looking in you. And then, and then it's like you reach the valley. Like you. Deep personal strength. And I told you. And peace. That assures success. So all of this that you done been through. Is ensuring your success. And it's ensuring like. You about to get married to a boss. Baby, you ain't gonna have to fight. You ain't have to. You ain't got to do shit. <laughs> you ain't gotta do shit. Like for real, I really do feel my group too. Y'all gonna make money together. Like y'all about to like really build a financial empire. Like something that you're gonna be able to pass down to. Like I can see you teaching y'all, your kids, how to run your 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 business and your company and things like that. Like. When they get older. So, if y'all are like having any discussions, like I said, about sex or whatever, like don't worry about that. Like, y'all are good. This person really adores the shit out of you, and you deserve everything that's been coming to you. So, God bless you. Let me check this phone real quick, y'all. Hold on. Quick and a Hold on. My bad, that's my child. All right, so let's get it to group number three. Group number three, what's it be? Let's get into group number three, y'all. Let's get into group number three. So if you picked this crystal, group number three, this is your reading. Let's see. All right, group number three, this is the rainbow obsidian. Okay, look, y'all need some protection. All right, because you know obsidian don't come to play. But with that rainbow, a rainbow obsidian, let's get into this. It says hope, deep faith, and evolution. Within the darkness, there is always light. When rainbow obsidian's dark exterior is exposed in light, colorful bands highlight its stone's beauty. Rainbow obsidian is a gentle stone showing you unhealed matters of the heart and bringing hidden wounds to the surface for ultimate healing. Rainbow obsidian takes you on a journey of evolution. Of opening your heart and discovering your true purpose in this life. Able to assist in cutting cords, Rainbow Obsidian floods you with light and love, forgiving yourself and others in the process. This is the sign of Libra and Saturn. Well, I just heard like transitional changes are ahead major transitions let's see what's going on and this is beautiful I look I'm gonna have to see if I can find me some rainbow obsidian this is beautiful okay so let's see what we got here what's the tea -yee -yee? Let's see. Why, am I, why did I just take a deep breath? Why do I feel like I'm about to go into something? Okay, let's see. And, and, and if y'all are just clicking the, the, the um, timestamp, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't click off. <laughs> don't click off. Hold on, because I don't know. I haven't seen the cards, okay? I'm just going off of the energy. You got the mule. Look, okay. You got the mule. It says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. What did I just say that this was going on in this group? Transitions. Let's see. December. Something happened in December. 
Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's see. The chains. Chains of event that will affect your life. Yeah, something happened in December that changed things. But it didn't seem like... It seems like someone may be struggling to change with reality of something. Well, I feel like it is not necessarily you, though. Who is this? Let's see. The boat. Money or property through inheritance, winnings, or windfall. A boat. So this has something to do with movement, too. Stubborn. Unwilling to move. Well, I feel like it's like you, you don't want to change your neighborhood. You don't want to move. Hmm. Clouds. Temporary problems. Hmm. Ear. Good news. Look, temporary problems, but you got good news? So, group three, your situation is changing. It's changing for the better. Why I feel like if someone's stuck in a... This is what I literally just pictured. <sighs> Let's say you've been used to living in a project your whole life. You've been used to getting food stamps, living on Section 8, like whatever is clever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got your friends. Like, maybe to somebody else, they'll probably be like, Oh, you know, how you live like that, blues, blah, 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 blah. But to you, it's like... <laughs> This my everyday, like I love my life. I, I, it's, it's nothing wrong with it to me. And let's just say something happened where you did end up inheriting some money. A windfall of money or some property. And let's just say the property is out west bubble fuck somewhere. All the way out in the woods, but it's a big ass... I mean, not super big, but it's a, it's a house. It's a nice house. This shit is paid for. Only thing you got to do is take care of the upkeep and pay your taxes. The house is paid for. You know, it gets you and your family out of the hood. And a lot of the stress and the sorrows and things that you've normally been dealing with, you wouldn't have it no more. But your life would change because you wouldn't be in the city, city living no more. You have to relocate to another state and you have to like totally restart your life over, you know. But it would be a change, a, a well-needed change. But it's like someone is just stubborn. So it's like instead. And then it's like I feel like you're not. It's like you could possibly not even be putting the effort into selling the house. It's like not even wanting to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like possibly suffering in an environment that is not for you anymore. It's like, you know, you... you and this is a temporary problem, but it's just like someone's not doing something about it. Let's see what, what we got here. Child, you got the witch. You got the magic. And you got the curse card. I just heard stagnancy. Well, I feel like this, like, if, if there's a... And again, I ain't saying no, ain't nobody doing no hocus pocus, no curses, this shit on you. Sometimes it could just be like... People's own negative crutches that are cursing their ability to move forward in their life. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we are our own problems. And it's like right now you need balance. And then you got the dove with peace and hope. And then you got hope, depth, and evolution in this card. So it's like something is pushing you ahead because it's like God is bringing to surface group three like what's been holding you back and it's like somebody has a lethargic approach to evading the woes of life you know like it's certain things that you could like i said evade you could like avoid it you could prevent certain things from happening but it's like someone just be letting shit happen around them because they don't want to have to do too much. So it's like if. And I don't know if this is somebody around you. I don't know if you just realized that this December. Like. 
ain't nothing much shaking, ain't nothing much coming out of this situation, ain't nothing much moving, nothing is changing because someone is not trying to change with the times. Like, someone could have had a job. Only thing you had to do is, like, stop smoking weed or something so you could pass a drug test. But it's like you didn't want to do it. So now the position closed and the person who was your friend and was just about to slide you in there, they can't even do what they can do on their part because you too stubborn. It's like you too, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you won't even do what you're supposed to do to help yourself. So it's like no one is, because like when people be saying, oh, someone's doing some magic, who do voodoo man, y'all be putting too much money, y'all be giving that witchy poo shit too much motherfucker credit. Like, I don't believe in that. Like, come on, bruh. Ain't nobody about to rub no cat bones or fucking... Ain't nobody about to do none of that shit that's about to touch nothing on me. A lot of the shit that be happening to people is their own doing. You know what I'm saying? So, if you could... Look, confirmation. If you could legitimately change your whole situation and someone is giving you a house and the only thing you gotta do is just relocate yeah you would have to i mean you, you, but you will feel self-exposed because you don't know anybody it is your friends could come and visit you and you know you can create a whole new life like don't be scared some people be scared of being successful too because you'll stop smoking weed what you scared that they gonna tell you, yeah, we gonna offer you this job you start on Monday? You know what I'm saying? That is motherfucking nervous. Like, oh my God, like I really gotta go. Do I really gotta show up to this? I know people that mindset just like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to stop smoking weed, doing whatever, whatever, just to get a job. And then they actually do get a job. But then when it's time for them to go to work on Monday, they still be sitting in the bed like, am I really supposed to be getting up going, yes, bitch, get the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Then they fuck around and get fired because just it's just the dumbest, stupidest shit, bro. Like, oh, my God. You got the... <laughs> then you got the Knight of Coins. So, and do you see how, like, the shaman is, like, summoning you to come out of the darkness? Look, if you pay attention to this card, you see all this gray and death, you know? It's like everything on the outskirts of this anointed circle. Ain't shit growing out here. So now I'm getting like again someone in like a fucked up area, fucked up neighborhood or something. It's like someone has an opportunity to either take a job again. Remember I said it's like someone's moving something. I want to say this has something to do with relocation. This is money or property through inheritance, winnings or windfall. It's like someone hearing about something. That's going to end a temporary problem. But you got to come from out of the fucking woods, out of the darkness or something. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you got to go into the woods where it's better. Like shit actually grows in this circle. Not out, not in the outskirts. Ain't shit growing out there. And it's like maybe it's taking someone a long time to just finally receive this. Look at it. That's a shaman. He's trying to teach you something. But the Knight of Pentacles, it takes them a very long time to come to the realization. They have to come to their own realization. You can't just tell this person, hey, you need to do that. No, they got to they gotta go through life and experience it for their own. And then they'll be like, you know what, you were right. Yeah, I told you that a few years ago. Yeah, but I had to go through it on my own. So it's like, now you ready to come? Yeah, I, 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 I got it. I got it. And look, you see how he's handing you a key? Like an access to something? You see the key? Do y'all see the key? It's like a new home. Why I keep getting like a new home? And then what is this? This is the Queen of Wands. And she got a big cup. Well, I just heard it's like someone has a very unique ability to please other people. And I want to say, um, I don't want to say like an entertainer, but 
why would I say like someone do hair or something like that? It's like whatever you do, it's like someone has some type of skill or some type of craft or something. This um Queen of Wands. She has some type of skill or craft that she has a very unique way of doing it. You know what I mean? Where only she knows how to lay wigs that way. And it's like people will travel to come and see you or to pay you a visit or just to get your hair done. Like it's like you could be known in the hood for laying wigs or some shit like that. You know? And it's like you feel like if you move to the outskirts or if you move too far out, like your main people may not have access to you, but I don't think that that's going to be a problem. A chain of events that will affect your life, but these are a positive chain of events. Because wherever this place is that you, it's taking you so long to realize that you have access to, but you are pussyfooting on actually going there like you don't want it, it'll give you more space and an opportunity to promote and grow your business. It's like you have a place to live and you can use the shed as a shop for you to do your hair. Like it's like and the shed is like um it's like you have more space. You have storage to ship your inventory out or whatever the fuck it is that you do. I don't give a damn what it is you do, but it's something that you do that you are good at. And if you pay attention, it's like, and my hand is itching. My hand is itching. So, it's like some money coming to somebody. And then you got the king of it. Hold on. You got the queen of swords. And then you got the queen of wands. Hmm. It's like someone want to be inside and then someone wants to be outside. So it's like two totally different individuals with two totally different aspects, wants and beliefs and desires of life. And well, I feel like it's a lesbian relationship now. That's why I feel like this is a lesbian relationship. Shout out to everybody in the community. Okay, in the LGBTQIA plus community. I feel like this is a breakup. Because it's like two people that live on completely two different sides of a, of a coin. Night and day. Day and night. One bald head, one got a whole bunch of <laughs> shit on her head. Like no bullshit. I want it's like I just heard swift justice. So whoever the air sign is, I feel like they may be just like mentally tapped out. Um, I want to say like they might not talk too much to you or if they do, it's like something about them. It's like they make something difficult. That's why I'm like, it's like on the outskirts, on the outskirts, like shit is fucking cold, bro. Like the shit is like, it's like dead. You hear me? You feel this? This shit look dead boots. And that's not the energy that I'm getting from her. And then look, you see the rainbow. So I am getting like a lesbian relationship or, you know, like a, I want to say that this is a very passionate and like talented person. She likes to be outside. I want to say this person is a real magnetic personality in the community. A lot of people flock to her. She's very busy. Um... Um, and I want to say is uh, just a, she's very busy, has a lot of business going on with her. She's a very unique po uh, personality. I don't know. I could even see like podcasting or something like very talkative. And this person is the complete fuck opposite personality. This person likes to stay at home, study, um, has a close knit group of friends. Um, 
but it's really more so of a homebody so I feel like it's the clash of the Titans and something happened in December that changed the dynamic in this relationship and right now you guys could be feeling like god damn like what the fuck is going you know what I'm saying it's just some heavy dark ass energy but at the same time it's like it's creating some level of rebirth because I feel like you guys could have been going through whatever the fuck this is for a hell of a fucking long time it took someone a long fucking time to realize like listen my people house down south like I don't even gotta be here like I, I don't have to live with you like I don't have to deal with this shit like and not only that it's like warm damn near all year I don't have to deal with this cold ass fucking New York ass weather it be cold as shit up this motherfucker I don't give a fuck how good your pizza is your fashion districts how much money you got I don't give a shit my people from down south I'm going to take my ass right back down to Texas everything is big in fucking Texas and I'm good like you know it's I feel like someone's going back to where the fuck they came from It's just been taking you a long time to fucking do it, bruh. But something about to happen. Whoever this is, you, you, not the air sign, the fire sign. Uh, the air sign is being left behind, but I don't think the air sign give a fuck, though. The air sign already knew that this, this situation has... And I want to say that that person kind of made it darker for you so that you will go on your own it's just fucking crazy i want to get out of this fucking energy but yeah i just like everything happens for a reason not a season and again balance this says justice documents so again someone's going to receive some documents it's like some paperwork that you now I want to say it's like I, it's like to get a new car to move or do something, whatever the fuck it is, it's going to serve you well. Cause whoever the fuck this is is not invited and can't come with you. And again, it's about evolution. Y'all see what this says? It's about evolution. Hope. Sometimes we hold on things that really don't deserve us for far too long. Far too long. It's like this. This was. And I'm not saying nothing negative about whoever this energy is. It's just your personalities clash too much. And sometimes, I don't know, this could have been a fixed air sign. This could have been an Aquarius or something. It's like once they kind of get. Once they let you in and kind of get attached to you, they're really attached to you. But. Again, like I feel like a dead soulless energy. It's like once this person is over you, they're over you, but they'll hold on to you for their life. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like the lack of emotional security because do you see how this person is worried about that cup? You see how baby girl is worried about this cup? And this is a fire sign. This is not a water sign. This person wants love. This person wants fulfillment. This person wants happiness, joy. Something that sparks their creativity and brings them out of this cage, this cave that they were in. Like, God, why do I feel, oh God, I gotta go. Okay, it's too much. I'm, I'm, I'm going too deep in the rabbit hole. I love you guys. I hope that this <laughs> gave y'all some guidance. I should have known the last one was going to motherfucker fuck me up. Y'all make sure y'all click that like button. I'm coming back with um, another video in the next few seconds. I'm about to record and see what the tea is in regards to you guys' sexual encounters to see what is coming up in love. All right. So, you know, y'all make sure you try hit that like button down there. I love you and thank you for loving me. I'll see y'all. Peace.